the most important thing is not how good your idea is, it's how good your execution is because everybody has a good idea, Mm -hmm. but very few people are good at executing. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of Light Pink, best-selling author, three-time fitness world champion, and I'm a crazy multi-passionate entrepreneur. My journey has taken me everywhere from being a broke waitress, barista, retails associate, and personal trainer with massive anxiety and no belief in myself to later becoming a multimillionaire in love with my life. In 2007, my husband and I lost everything. We found ourselves hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt at rock bottom. We had no ideas and I had no education to fall back on. This is when I found personal development and learned everything I could about business, not by choice, but because I realized no one was coming to save me. The conversations on this podcast are going to let you know that you're not alone and that we all feel like we don't know what we're doing. We're going to give you the tools to help you face your fears, take action, start your business, and grow those massive dreams that are keeping you up at night. It's time to create a life that you can't hide from and put so much on the line that your higher self is forced to come out. You're going to stop waiting for someone to approve of you, and you're going to anoint yourself. Because I'm obsessed about building businesses that give women a platform, I want to feature you. So if you text the word podcast to 310-496-8363, you can get your questions answered on our Q&A segment along with a shout out. And if you rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast, we're choosing someone every month to get coached and featured on our show. It just might be you. So let's get started. And we're back. With another episode of He Said, She Said. I thought you said that very sultry. Very like Another episode of He Said, She Said. (laughs) Delilah. Delilah After Dark was the shit. Am I allowed to swear on this? Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, she was the coolest. Any of my 80s peeps out there, if you remember Delilah After Dark. I think she still does it, Chris. Does she really? Yes. I I just remember always being on like road trips or driving home from something with my parents and it's nighttime and they would always have Delilah After Dark on and she played the best music. This next letter is from Mike. Oh, yeah, that's right. She read the cheesy letters. Mike wife about. (laughs) Oh, my God. Okay, guys, I promise you we're not get you on here to talk about 80s DJs. But she did just just for those of you who are who are youngins. She would read a letter and then she would say, I'm going to dedicate, uh, you know, this corresponding song to your wife or to you. Like she would do this beautiful thing on the radio. So everybody just loved Delilah. And there was, there's something about her voice that all of a sudden your nervous system just sighed. Mm -hmm. It just went, ah. And that's how it felt. And like your mu- pants unbuttoned and, the music was and on point. clothes melted off. And I don't know. What kind of weird shit did you do to Delilah know, that After Dark? That's that, strange. That got really weird right there. We might have Let's to unpack that. <laughs> All right. Well, if you haven't turned off this podcast episode yet, <laughs> then you're just as weird as us. Congratulations. Uh, or you grew up in the 80s. Congratulations. <laughs> and what we really intended to talk to you about today was how to better leverage your network and how you're missing out on all the answers you're seeking are probably in your network. Now, before you just click stop thinking, oh, I've heard this before. No, you haven't. Guys, <laughs> this is really powerful. And it's one of the most simple things you can tap into that you're not tapping into enough right now. And the reason I know you're not enough, uh, you're not tapping in <laughs> a- enough right now is because I know that Lori it hasn't been tapping into her network enough. I have not been tapping into my network enough until we reminded each other, uh, babe, The answers to this are in your network. Go ask this person. Go ask that person. And all of a sudden, doors are open and left and doors are open and right. And like everything is is falling into place for us because we finally started tapping back into our network. So I am talking about this nonstop. I've been talking about this on Girlfriends of Business. We talked about this on the round table, but every single time we talk about it, something new comes out of it. And I have to just tell you, your network is everything yeah. and you have one right now. So even if you're like, I don't know anybody and I don't know how to do this, you have a network because you also have social media. And I saw a meme the other day that completely pissed me off. It was like, 
nothing is more powerful than a woman who doesn't want to ask for help, like get out oh, of her way. And I was like, yuck. oh my God, that's the worst message ever. Horrible. So what, you want to build your business in 10 years when you could build it in a year by creating a net, your network is a shortcut. Yeah, no, there's- That's there's, literally what it is. It's a shortcut to everything. Collaboration is the new shortcut, yes. right? We've said that before. And, and I talk all the time about relationship capital. Guys, the most important capital that you can possibly build up is relationship capital, your network. It's way more important than gold fashion capital capital, like money. Because even when you run out of money, your network, your relationship capital, that's there for you to get you back on your feet. That's there for you to get your, your business off the ground, mm -hmm. right? It's there as the shortcut. So a couple things that I am doing right now is, you know, if I have a problem that I am not able to solve or I don't know the answer to, I just start asking myself, who do I know? What do they do? Who do I know that I don't know what they do? That's probably the most powerful question mm -hmm. is you have all of these people in your network that you don't actually know what they do. So even really sitting down and thinking, how can you A, survey those people, B, either text a group of people or really start to figure out and put people in different sections of who you can ask. And also, even if you don't know what they do or you're not sure if they have, you know, maybe the answers that you need, being able to ask them, who do they know? And this is going to feel, uh, honestly, if you make this your job for an hour to two hours a day, it is better than you trying to sit in Google and solve mm -hmm. everything on your own on the computer. Here's a great exercise. So when, as soon as this, this episode is done, I want you to grab a, a sheet of paper and a pen or pencil, and I want you to grab your phone. And I want you to pull up either your Facebook friends list, or your Instagram friends list, and I want you to ask yourself, who is in my network that could possibly help me reach my goals? And I want you to go name by name, like using your Facebook friends list as a memory jogger, using your Instagram friends list as a memory jogger. I want you to go name by name. And yeah, this might take you a half hour, but you're going to write down every name on that sheet of paper who is in your network that you forgot is in your network, that it could be a valuable resource for where you want to go and what you want to build. And by the end of that exercise, you're going to realize just how damn powerful your network is. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have a list of people in front of you to go and start tapping into in order to speed up your journey. Guys, this is just referrals. So I want you to think about this in terms of, let's just think in smaller money right now and in things that uh, you know do matter, but also save time. So let's think of this as, you know, I moved to, I moved from California to Arizona. Instead of me going and trying to figure out who my new lash person was going to be, who my new nail person was going to be, and who my new hair person was going to be, I asked everyone I knew who I thought could potentially know or who had great hair or great nails or someone who I knew valued, you know, maybe their appearance or something like that. And I went to them first because instead of me Googling, going and getting my nails done and having a terrible job or going and getting my hair done and paying way too much for it and not liking it, and then going and trying it again on my own and having that same experience again, that is literally what you're doing in business is if you go and you just try to find the answers, not only is it going to take you a ton of time, but then you potentially could have a very bad experience instead of sp you're speeding everything up and you are automatically getting like testimonials from people of referrals. That's a great example of how you can tap into your network. Here's a business example of, of how I've done it recently. So I have this app idea. Who doesn't have an app idea? But I have an app idea I that's don't. going to change the way that we borrow money forever. And it's going to require a lot of skill sets that I don't have or that are just not in my comfort zone. And so instead of hiding my idea, and this is important, instead of being afraid that someone's going to take my idea, I started asking everyone in my network, hey, who do you know that would want a partner? Who do you know that would be good at this? Who do you know that could help me get this off the ground? And I found my perfect co-CEO to get this thing off the ground. He compliments every weakness I have, and I'm good at all of the areas of opportunity that he doesn't care to you know, become good at either. Mm -hmm. And the speed at which this thing's going to be able to get off the ground is going to be insane because I wasn't afraid 
to ask my network. And more importantly, this is going to reach some of you. I wasn't trying to keep this thing to myself. I wasn't afraid someone was going to steal the idea. You know, very recently, somebody that we look up to said, the most important thing is not how good your idea is, it's how good your execution is. Because everybody has a good idea, Mm -hmm. but very few people are good at executing. So I knew that if I told everyone this idea, yeah, maybe they'd be a good idea. I should try it. Didn't matter because I'm going to execute better once I found that person in my Mm -hmm. network. And sure enough, I found them. Mm -hmm. I love that. I think that, you know, this is probably the most important lesson that we could ever teach because you are always working on expanding and growing your network and you'll Mm -hmm. only go as far as your network can take you. Well, I'm going to go back to where you started. You said, hey, everybody, newsflash, you do have a network, even if you think you don't. So here's Mm -hmm. two truths when it comes to your network. Number one, you have a better network than you think. Every single person listening right now, truth number one, you have a better network than you think. But truth number two, it should be your full-time job continuing to grow your network intentionally. You are never done growing your network. This doesn't mean you have to be best friends with everybody, but it does mean you need to continue to go to the events, plug into the opportunities, go seek other crowds, and continue to add to your circle of influence. Because the more resources you have in your circle of influence, in your network, the faster every single one of your goals, every single one of your dreams is going to come to fruition. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, one of the biggest things that I have learned throughout um, asking right now and building light pink is that the people that I had in my network who kind of maybe let's even call them, I don't know, second or third tier, I don't talk to them much. Mm -hmm. Um, those people, I don't really know what their network is. I don't even necessarily know what they do Mm because I just know them as a person. Um, that's where some of my biggest answers have come from. Like, uh, just, you know, maybe having a random conversation with them and being like, Hey, by chance, do you know anyone who does X, Y, and Z? I'm literally on every interaction of a conversation that I had been having at one point when I was trying to solve a serious, like, issue in my company, like trying to solve some serious problems. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to start asking everybody that I come in contact with. Like I'm talking when you're at the grocery store, when you are on a phone call for something else, when you are on a mastermind zoom call, when you are on like throw it out there to everyone to get your problem solved and then take every phone call you can get. That seems like a lead and, you know, make them quick, five minutes, 10 minutes. Um, to ask the questions that you need to ask. But definitely, like just like Chris said, like get your idea out there. Also, simultaneously get your question out there. Yep, totally. Guys, the answers are in your network. So listen, you're closer to your dreams than you think, but it's time to start becoming an unapologetic asker. And Mm -hmm. I want to be a part of your network as well. I've decided to start texting every single person when I wake up, either a daily money mantra or a daily business mantra. And if that is something that like you could use to boost how you feel in the morning, to boost how you're going to go throughout the day, it's free. No strings attached. All you got to do is just send me the word daily. Text me the word daily to 310-421-0416. Again, text me the word daily to 310-421-0416. And I will send you every single morning when I wake up, a, either a money mindset mantra or a business mantra. People are loving those. They're, They're so it. awesome. They're I'm sharing obsessed. them all over Instagram. It's pretty badass. He just rolls over and tells me the money mantra. Like that's what we wake up to. He's like, money flows easily to you. Just I wake kidding. you up to a mantra every single morning and it makes a, a big difference. It does. I'm, I'm happier, happier, healthier, healthier, wealthier, wealthier more, more fit than, than I was yesterday. yesterday. And he won't let me not say it in a perky voice. Yep. And it, it pays a little off. Bit. You like, get to mm-hmm. choose what lens you want to see the day through. If you can control your morning, you increase your chances of controlling your afternoon. And then you control the universe. <laughs> you kind of do. Yeah, it's true. In a funny way. All okay. right, guys. Thanks for listening. Love and appreciate you. See you next time.
Hey y'all, I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday, I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back and I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community and everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, Not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody gonna be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to circle.so. Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a 
paywall too. And you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use and it has a free 14 day trial for you. So you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14 day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's gonna streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool.